Here I'm going to be showing you how to build a Wix website for free in 10 minutes. I'm not big on introduction, so let's get right on into it. All right, so here we are on the inside. If you want to get to this page, you can go to all sites and do go to all sites. From here, simply click on create new site. So this spot actually allows us to bring your ideas to life with AI. We can do that if we want. I have other tutorials for that, but we're going to be using a template here. I think it's going to be the fastest way to get up and running. So I'm going to do set up without chat. For this, what type of website do you want to create? This is going to be where we differ ever so slightly. In this example, I'm going to be showing off a portfolio, but if there's anything else you want to type in that's going to be related to what you're doing, be sure to do that and click on continue, but let's go with portfolio. And great, we can actually go down here and kind of show which one's going to be most similar to what we're doing here. We'd say like, you know, photo or design portfolio will be fine. Let's do this and do continue. All right, and what would you like to call your website? I'm just gonna use Marketing Island, my YouTube channel. You know, type in your name there, click on continue. And these are gonna be things that you can actually have in here. If you wanna do these, you certainly can, but I'm just gonna go with the portfolio here. Like if this was highlighted, you can simply undo it. There's a few others there, but they're very easy to add in if needed. So given the fact we're doing a portfolio here, I'm gonna keep that and click on continue. And you're all set, continue to dashboard. All right, and great. There's gonna be a bunch of things loading and showing up everywhere, but we wanna go straight to designing our site. So let's click on this button right here, design site. And once again, I believe that choosing a template is so much easier as opposed to generating with AI. I do have other tutorials. So if you are curious about how you can go this route, simply leave a comment down below and I can link you to that other video, but let's customize the template. So click on pick a template right here. All right, and for this, it has local business highlighted. What I'm gonna do is just simply type in portfolio. And let's see, we have design portfolio. Let's go with that one, seeing that's what we're gonna be looking for here. And here's a simple one, which I actually kind of like. Okay, and there's gonna be a lot of them there. So there's gonna be 25 pages and there's three, six, nine, 12. So a whole lot of them. You can sort by newest or top templates. I actually like this one. Even if you weren't a graphic designer, you can still use this to kind of showcase what you have there. If there's ever one you wanna look at a little bit closer, simply hover over it and click on view. And I really like this. I know it's it's clean, it's simple, it's plain, but that's my style. If you don't like it, it's okay. You don't have to, <laughs> okay? So uh, this looks fine. I'm gonna go with this one. So let me scroll back up. Let's click on edit the site. If you were looking at a template and you're like, I think I can do better, just simply click on back to templates, repeat the process. And when you do have one you like, let's do edit this site. All right, so right off the bat, they want us to enhance our AI content. I'm just gonna X out of this. It's pretty easy to change around and there's not a whole lot to edit here, which is good. So I'm just Xing out on that. Now, overall, we're gonna go north to south here. You're gonna notice our site looks pretty small. To change that, all we have to do is click on this and we can see a little bit better. So let's click right here. This is going to be our header. So I'm just gonna do this. I just double clicked on it. I'm gonna do, we'll do all caps here, marketing island. Okay, let's say I wanted to add maybe a logo there. So let's go to add elements right here. Let's do image right here. Let's do upload and import. And then we have upload images. Now, normally what you'd wanna do is go to the upload section right here, but I already have some. So like you would go to my computer and upload it. But since I already have one, I'm going to go with my logo right here and do upload selection. And great, let's do add to page. All right, and as you can see, it's gonna be quite big. So I wanna make it smaller and something like this will be fine. You'll notice when you move it, see that purple line, the vertical line, that means it's going to be right in the middle. That's what we want. So let's say this is gonna be a YouTube thumbnail portfolio. So we have YouTube thumbnail portfolio. Okay. So double clicking is how you change that. We have our heading, we have our font size. If you want to link it, anything like that. And as we scroll down, we're now going to be going to the portfolio section. So we can click here and we can do change background. We can do quick edit. And pretty much once we get into the main section right here, we can do manage projects or choose collections. Let's start with manage projects first. All right. So here we are with our projects overall. And what I want to do is add project right here. And let's just say this is going to be like YouTube thumbnails, next, description, 
Once again, I'm not going to go too crazy with this. I would obviously add much more description, but I'm pretty sure you can, you know, describe whatever it is you're going to be adding in, right? So let's do next. And once again, YT thumbs, you know, location, date, if you want to add that in, let's do next. And I'm going to add some media from the computer. Give me one moment. All right, and I've updated some of my thumbnails by adding them in. Keep in mind, if there's one that you want to put like front and center and make it the cover photo like that, you just simply drag it there. So I'm going to keep it like that and click on done. And let's do done. Great. So we can exit out right here. And you're going to notice that there's going to be some of these other projects right here. If you need to like this, to simply go to delete and like that. I'm just going to simply keep it there just so it has some other things there, right? So let's click X on here. And there we go. As you can see, it is now added it in. So this is going to be the portfolio gallery. And what I'd recommend doing saying like if I was doing YouTube thumbnails, I would do one for like websites, right? One for like software, one for maybe a little bit more specific, like getting traffic or social media. So depending on the portfolio that you have, if you're doing it that way, you can kind of just choose categories just so that you can separate them a little bit better. So these would say be the other ones here. I'm going to keep them there because you know how to edit those, right? And as we move down, now we have our section down here. If you want to do a quick edit right Right here it says you know powered by blah 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 you can easily change that around if needed and of course what we want to do since we have some other pages right here what we can do is the pages and menu section right here we have home we have portfolio about contact blog and book online so uh, I'm not going to be booking online for this one so I can always just do like hide from menu if needed there same thing this isn't going to be focused on a blog but if you wanted to you certainly can I'm just going to do hide here. So we have portfolio. Let's click on here. And it's pretty much just going to be the same thing on a different page, right? Now we can go to our about page. Very easy to edit, right? And now we, what we can do is click on change image right here. And I'm just going to upload one very quickly. Upload from computer. There I am. Let's do choose image. Great. You can crop and edit too. So if you go to edit image, there's going to be a crop section right here. We can kind of play around with it. Uh, crop, extend, you know, make it smaller, anything like that. I'm not going to play around with it, but if you need to change it around, you can do that. This is going to be where you tell everyone about how awesome you are. This is going to be a button. If you want to change the text, you could do like something like contact me, right? And we want to make that a little bit bigger if that's going to be the case. There we go. And if we want to link it to somewhere specifically, what we can do is go to a page and we can do contact just like that. You could probably do a new window too. I like doing that specifically and great. So we also haven't saved yet. I'm going to click on save here. Let's see like site, whatever you want to call it. I'm just doing this quickly. Perfect. So there is going to be that contact me section as well. It's going to X out of that. So let's go back to pages and more. Let's go to contact. So here we are. And for me personally, I don't care too much about using forms. So you can click on that and just do delete, uh, delete app right there. And once again, you can do the same thing as say, if you want to add an image there, let's say we have our elements just to make it look a little bit better. Okay. Let's add the page. It's going to be a little bit bigger. If we want to make it smaller, let's do this. And also too, just to kind of show you here, let's say this is going to be your email. And if you want this to go out to an email, what you do is you click on link here, you go email to this. Hey, yo, whatever you want the subject to be, that's just a way where they can click on it and it opens up like their email browser and so on and so forth. A very simple, plain and basic. But the main idea here is to showcase your portfolio. And obviously, if someone wants to reach out to you, maybe they can hire you, work with you if you're doing coaching and consulting, uh, whatever it may be. Obviously, you just want to know what your main goal is going to be. So we can go back home right here. And last but not least, let's just publish it very quickly. I'm going to click on publish. All right, great. It is done. And in case you do publish it, let's just do not show again. After you do publish it, you can just simply click on view site and let's take a look at what our website looks like. All right. So clean, basic, simple, have the name here. We have our logo, what it's going to be all about. And then of course we have our portfolio. So if we click on this, you're going to see that we have all of them right here. It just kind of showcases what it looks like. Let's go back. 
And if we go down to the bottom here, we have portfolio, we have about and contact, you know, very similar. Let's go to the about page, a picture of you talking about yourself. You know, if you want to contact that will go to the contact me page, opens up in a new tab. And that's exactly how someone can reach out to you overall. And that's going to conclude this tutorial about how you can build a Wix website for free in 10 minutes. I didn't get to time this one, but it should be around 10 minutes. I know I do a little bit of explaining here and there. I left out some of the things that are going to be more of aesthetic wise, like, you know, changing around font images, cropping it, but you know how to do that after following along. If you do have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And of course, if you would like to get a free gift, I will leave it down below in the description. It can help you build and grow your digital business. If that's what you're into, of course, my name is James. James, thank you so much for watching this week's tutorial and I'll see you in my next one.